Are you tired of stutters, low FPS, or lag on your Windows PC while gaming? In this video, I'll show you how pros optimize Windows 10 and 11 for gaming performance, from unlocking hidden power settings to cleaning up background processes. Get ready to boost FPS and fix stutters in just a few easy steps. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Step 1. Maximize CPU performance by unlocking all processors. In the first step, I will show you how to unlock all CPU cores to maximize performance. Press the Windows key, then search for System Configuration. Open the program and navigate to the Boot tab. Click on Advanced Options, then check the box for Number of Processors. From the drop-down menu, select the highest number available. This setting ensures your CPU uses all its available cores, improving system responsiveness and performance. Once selected, click OK, then apply and exit the menu. Now your CPU is fully optimized, ensuring higher FPS, smoother gameplay, and lower input lag while gaming. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 2. Boost Windows Performance with Chris Titus Tech Utility Now we're going to make your PC even faster by using a tool called Chris Titus Tech Utility. This tool helps by removing useless background apps and services that slow down your system. First, open your FPS boost pack and look for a text file inside. Open the file and copy the code written in it. Next, go to the Windows search bar, type PowerShell, right-click on it, and select Run as administrator. This gives PowerShell full permission to make changes to your computer. Now paste the code you copied earlier into PowerShell and press Enter. This will open the Chris Titus Tech Utility tool. Once the tool opens, click the Tweaks tab. You will now see two preset options made to increase performance. The minimal preset is good for most users. It removes extra background features but keeps all the important ones working. The standard preset removes even more unnecessary things and boosts performance even more. Before making any changes, the tool will automatically create a system restore point, which means you can undo the changes later if needed. After you choose either minimal or standard, click the Run Tweaks button. When the process finishes, close the tool. This step will turn off services you don't need, fix FPS drops, lower lag, and boost your FPS overall. Step 3. Making your CPU work better by unparking CPU cores. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Your CPU has multiple cores, but sometimes Windows parks, turns off, some of them to save power. This can cause slowdowns in games or when doing heavy tasks. To fix this, we're going to unpark all CPU cores using a tool called Unpark CPU. When CPU cores are unparked, your system can use all its power. This gives more speed and performance in games like Fortnite or CS2. After installing the tool, right-click it and choose Run as Administrator to give it full access to your system. When it opens, it will show which CPU cores are parked and which ones are active. To turn on all the cores, just click the Unpark button. This makes sure all your CPU cores are working and it helps your computer run faster and smoother. Step 4. Improve CPU performance using Throttle Stop. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description to boost your CPU performance even more. We will use a tool called Throttle Stop. First, open the Tools folder on your computer and go into the Throttle Stop folder. Then open the Throttle Stop program by double-clicking it. Once it's open, you'll see several power modes. Performance, Game, Internet, and Battery mode. For the best gaming performance, choose the Game Power Plan and then check the box for High Performance. Out of all the available plans, High Performance gives the best results. Next, look for options called Clock Mode, Set Multiplier, and Speed Shift settings. Do not change anything in those sections. Instead, simply click Disable Turbo so your CPU doesn't overheat unnecessarily. After that, click Turn On, and then click Save to keep the changes. Finally, keep Throttle Stop running in the background whenever your PC is on. This helps it keep your system fast and stable, giving you smooth gameplay all the time. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. 
select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using gear up booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Maximize CPU performance by unlocking all processors. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Now I'll show you how to use a tool called MSI Utility to make your hardware components faster and more stable. After downloading the MSI Utility, open it to see the list of all your devices. Find your GPU model in the list. Since we're using the GPU to lower latency, check the box for MSI next to it and set the interrupt priority to high. Next, look for your integrated GPU, like Intel graphics. Check the MSI box for that too, and also set its priority to high. Once you've made these changes, click apply to save the settings, and then close the MSI utility. This helps your GPU talk better with your system, which improves performance and reduces lag in games. Step 6. Improve your power plan for gaming performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. In this step, I'll show you how to change your power settings for better gaming performance. Go to the Windows search bar, type power, and click change power plan. If your plan is set to balanced, that means your CPU won't use full power, which is not good for gaming. Change it to high performance or ultimate performance. If you don't see ultimate performance, follow these steps to enable it. Copy the special command from the video description. Open command prompt as administrator. Paste the command into it and press enter. After doing this, you'll get a message that says, ultimate performance mode is now available. Go back to your power plan settings and select ultimate performance. This setting allows your CPU to run at maximum speed, which helps stop FPS drops and makes games run smoother. Step 7. Optimizing Windows using the Storage Sense settings. Now open your system settings and search for Storage Sense. Open Storage Sense and turn it on. This feature will clean up junk files from your computer automatically, helping it stay fast. Under Configure Cleanup Schedules, set it to run every day. Also, set it to delete files in the recycle bin after 14 days. This keeps your PC clean and makes sure there's more space for games to run better. After setting everything up, click Run Storage Sense now and let it clean up your system. Doing this often will keep your PC faster, lighter, and cleaner without you needing to do it by hand. If this guide helped you, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos about PC optimization. I'll see you in the next one.